Great practice here, Matt. Basically, I had a team in Boston. They were spending about 15K on lead gen with me. Mm -hmm. And the guy was about to pull back and scale it down to 5K. And I was like, look, listen, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to coach your team on call conversion. I'm going to review their calls with them one-on-one -on -one every single week. But what I need you to do is I need you to commit to another six-month contract with me, no cutting back at the existing 15K spend. And should conversion rate go up, can you verbally promise me as a friend that we're going to double your spend? And he's like, yeah, if you can increase my conversion rate from 4% to even 6%, Chad, I'll double it up. No problem. Because money's not a problem. I'm hiring more people. So uh, I basically did that. And then I would coach each individual. I would send them a recap email with a breakdown and then CC him. He called me. He was freaking out. He's like, this is amazing. He's like, I'm so happy you're helping out. He's like, if I hired a real estate coach in my area for the Boston market, they charge anywhere between 10 to 20K a month, a retainer fee. He's like, you're doing this for free, nothing out of pocket. I'm definitely going to double with you. And maybe we might even triple. And then that time came, we doubled up. And then now we're growing aggressively. Number one, Chad, you're going to be one of the greatest coaches in real estate. I can feel it because you gave them 30 grand worth of value. But you just basically did a perfect summary of what we were talking about in the beginning. When he wanted to go from 15K to 5K, it wasn't about 10K, was it? No. It was he didn't see the value. And I don't even think it was he didn't see the value because he was an existing client. Let's just be honest here. He wasn't getting the value, right? And the, but the problem was not you, Chad. The problem was not your campaign. What was the problem? The problem was his people, you were delivering on your promise and his people were not, correct? Correct. No accountability on his end, plus the previous consultant that had the account, they were just checking in with him once every other month and I was checking in with him proactively once a week for 10 to 15 minutes. Now, do you mind, can I just w grab my crystal ball and, and tell you what would have happened had you gone the other way? Please. If you had lowered to 5K, here's what would have happened. As a business owner, and I've owned marketing companies in the past, here's what would have happened. In another 60 days, he would have called you to cancel out the account completely because one of two things would have happened, okay? Number one, he would have realized that his people were screwing up and he would have fired a bunch of them and always marketing gets thrown out with the bathwater, right? We're just going to make a whole fresh start here, right? New people or worse for him, not for you. It's still just as bad for you. In 60 days, he would have canceled because some other sales rep would have come in with a new promise of performance. And he would have said, yeah, I'll give you guys, I'll, Robert, I'll give you a try. Let, let's up the spend. And he would have, instead of doing 15K with Robert, he would have probably done 25K with Robert. Because the problem, he was basically, what he was doing was backing himself out of doing business with you. But he couldn't, he couldn't really put his finger on you being the, the bad guy. So he's just going to slowly back his way out, right? So you handled that absolutely perfectly.